about how y'all doing out there today? This is Greybeard here from Roughshod Stalks. And as you can tell, we got a bowl fit. And guess what? We're gonna unbox, unpackage him here today. So let's get started. So Bobo Fett, he made his first appearance way back in 1978. There was an animated segment of the Star Wars Holiday Special that we were all exposed to the Bobo Fett. Um, I've seen documentaries where he was actual first appearance would have been in a parade. Um, way back they had him in his prototype outfit in a parade before that animated series or segment came out but uh yeah Bubble Fett's been around for a while he was created by George Lucas I mean who else would create him all right so standard 40th anniversary return of the Jedi carded figure the other figures in the wave that came with them a oh, little blurb right there commemorating the 40th anniversary of Star Wars and we got some effects coming in accessories a couple of blasters a jet pack and another type of blast effect oh my well there he is Now the card, it's very thin. It is not like the G.I. Joe Marvel Legends cards that you see nowadays that the figures come in. This is a thin one, so be careful if you're collecting these. These are easily bent. Now in my case, he's coming out, so it doesn't damn matter what that card looks like. He's going to come out. All right, so let's get started. So with all these figures, I go for the bottom. It's just the easiest way to get them off. There, look at that. Like butter. Take them to the side. Let's see here. Oh, we got a tray. That's nice. And we got his plastic prison. Oh my. So empty box. That little white thing. He's just going to stay in there because he's going to go away. But not too bad getting them out of the package. Usually I tear those things up. Oh, let's see here. We got a nice, nice looking jet pack. We got a couple of blasters here. This is his regular blaster. This one will be separated in two pieces to reflect Luke Skywalker cutting it in half. And then we got this blast effect. I gotta believe it's for his flamethrower. And let's see here, plastic prison bubble fit. Looks like we got two effects here, probably for the jet pack. And we got his little hook and rope that uh, he shot and wrapped around Luke. All right, let's go ahead and start popping some of these guys out. So we'll start with the jetpack peg hole. He's probably rest against his back. Nothing going on too much there. This side of the house though, very nice looking. Got some weathering on the paint because Bobo Fett's been in battles. Little jet nozzles and they do turn. Full 360. This guy here does not come out. But not bad looking at all. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, it's going to be his flamethrower blast effect. Going from yellow to orange. And we got the blasters themselves. Let's see what's going on with them. Okay. Get it out of the way. One blaster. Two blasters. So there is the normal blaster. Looks almost like a uh, Taurus Judge revolver. Or the uh, Circuit Judge. Almost. Almost with the way it's almost like a revolver right here. But that's it, it's all one color. It is a, uh, like a bronze almost, a dark. It doesn't look black, I know the camera isn't picking it up that well. 
but it's got some uh, brown bronze going on that kind of gives it like some aging aging that's cool all right the other one exactly the same except you notice you got this little spot right here and you should be able to there it is pull it apart and then now he can hold it like this oh no Luke 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 don't cut my damn gun in half and it goes back together so you probably could cover up that yellow and leave it together and you'll have an extra gun or however you want it to be that's cool all right let's see here got the blast effects for the jetpack let's see how they look in there with it same like the uh, flamethrower effect yellow to orange there it goes and he's flying around oh wow but it does look nice doesn't it look nice like I said these can you know articulate this way to give them you know more lift off approach but we'll just leave it like that for now let's see here so we got bobo fat let's get them on out there, carefully there goes the rope all right so that's it for the prisons they're all empty yay prisons empty now, this little thing here I could care less for, to be honest with you, because you really can't do nothing with it. It isn't like hidden, you know? I mean, basically pull it up. So this little guy here, nice to have, but to be honest with you, I think it's unnecessary. So, all right, so it's just a little loop. You can get it off of there very easily. So you just undo it like that and boom, it's gone. So I probably will not have that on there. Uh, helmet does stay on. You're not getting a look at bubble fit. There's something in there, but it's all gray. But it is what it is. All right, so we got bubble fit here. Take a good look at them. Helmet. So his little visor does come down. Goes back up. He's got the dent. Everybody knows he has a dent. He's got some battle scarring going on on that helmet. Classic bubble fed look. I mean, really, it's classic no complaints here back he's got the little small cape he's got the little hoses here he's got the wookie scalps or braid i guess i guess it wouldn't be a scalp but you know what i mean mandalorian symbol right there belt right here he's loose bring out the old ruler put them right behind it right under six inches right under six inches if you count his little viewfinder there he's over six but just a tad under six inches so let's get down to it there's the exorcist he's up He's down. He has a good down. Up. Not as good, but there it is. Uh, nothing right here. He's just got the waist. So his crunch is very limited. Barely any forward. A lot more back. A lot more back. There it is. Let's see, I wonder. Now, the shoulder pads 
are on his shoulders, so he is not gonna allow you to do the exorcist on the arm. He's gonna come up right here, that's it. So you can see that there. Same thing happens on the other arm. And there's a little give, don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna let you go too much with it, you know? Pretty much that is it. And up and then back. You can go straight. But anything more than that, then you run these little guys popping off. Uh, yeah, the arm does spin. Hand here, he's blocked by this little piece from going all the way around. The other hand does the same thing. Now, on here, you got these hoses, so it's not going to let you spin them around. Hand over here does spin. You do got a little bit of articulation back and forth with it. Uh, let's see here. He can look at his butt if he wanted to. I don't see him doing it, but if he wanted to, he could. Let's see here, legs. Now we are uh, pinless all the way around. So that's it for the legs. That's all you're getting. In the back, that's all you're getting. That is all you're getting. Right, let's see about the arms. Like I said, they're single as well. So that's all you're gonna get on the arms. Little bit more on this side. I wonder if um I got something messed up over here. No, nah, that's it. So this arm does go back a little bit further, just a little bit, not much more. All right. Um, with the legs, you do got the, the thigh cut there. So if you wanted to walk backwards, you could. He does have right here at the knee. walk backwards that way as well foot there's your down on the foot and you're up on the foot and you got some twist you can break an ankle if you want it all right Let's see here. You can go back out and kick a door down. Now backwards, no go. He ain't going nowhere. That's it. So it's just forward, nothing back. So once again, that, that's it. That is it for the leg. All right. So let's continue on looking at them. Just checking out the details now. There's the wrist gauntlet. There's the other side there. There's the two, the Wookiee braids. I'm gonna call them braids now instead of scalp. Got a pouch over here on the belt. Belt looking good. Got another pouch on the belt. And these are attached to the, uh, the belt itself, like so. You got his red sash under there. Chest looking good, battle worn. You got his little I don't even know what you call this. It used to be a cape, but then it, it 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 got burnt off. I don't know. A sash, maybe a sash is what you'll call it. But there it is. It does not interfere with getting in the back. So you got the peg hole, and then you got these two other holes for those rectangle pieces to sit in. They did went with the uh, red belt around them. They did put like 
little buckling there. Pants, got little pockets up front. Knee pads, also got battle damage in the pockets. Just that little bit of accent on the paint, just to give it, you know, break it up, make it look nice. Let's see here. So we know his arms don't do nothing, but he can do them bubble bow, 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 fat splits. There he is, ah, bubble fat splits. All right. And there he is. Got him standing in a generic pose right now. I'm probably gonna have him hanging like in a flight pose. But uh, there he goes. You can see all the effects there. I mean, if you don't own a bubble fit, then you will not go wrong getting this one at all. If you had one before, this might just be a updated version or a repaint, so you might pass on them. But like I said, if you don't have one, nothing wrong with this one at all. He looks great. The weathering, the effects, the outfit, all of it looks very nice. And for the flight pose, this is kind of what I'm going for. I forgot to mention the boots. They got these little pieces on the end, just like his. They did not forget about that detail. But uh, yeah, more like this type of pose right here. I might, you know, push these guys down a little bit. I don't know, maybe like right there. But that looks like a pretty tough profile right there. Cool, cool. Well, that does it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. We really do appreciate it. And this is Greybeard from Roughshod Stalks. Out. You want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get.